uh, to stream this. Um, doing Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, no mod, no mods at all, and uh, I've seen a lot of people out there asking about uh, evil parties, and so I'm going to run an, an evil party through uh, through Baldur's Gate. Um, the character that I'm going to to play is an elven assassin. And while I do the, the portrait and and everything, it you know looks drow. Uh, there are no actual drow in in the game as far as playable races go. Uh, again, you could mod it, but I decided Your not to play with any mods. Approaches. So it's just a, a regular elf. Uh, biggest thing you lose out on really is just the uh, is just the magic resistance, which you could add back in with uh, a third party like a uh, EE keeper. But do as I say, and we will thrive. Um, I just I don't I don't necessarily see the necessity of it. You can just role play the the drow aspect. And I'm going to be playing on normal rules, not instead of core rules. I would normally play on core, but for the purpose of streaming and just making it easier to, to get through, I, I figure um, it makes more sense just to go ahead and do normal rules. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the sword coast. Sage Gorion, acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever. And now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. Okay, so the beginning of, of Baldur's Gate, you know, you're you're only level one. Worry not. Limited resources and. I shall. Um. No time to chit chat. Yeah, it, it's it's not very exciting, so I'm going to hurry through it for the most part. Um, being an assassin, I do have thief skills. And I'm going to rob this place blind, because, well... Again, limited resources in the beginning of the game, so you want to get everything that you can get. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. Agreed.
Now, if you try to steal something in front, of, directly in front of somebody in, in their line of sight, they will call the guards, which is never a good thing. But what you can do is beat them unconscious. They're unconscious, they can't call the guard on you, and you also don't get any kind of reputation loss or anything for knocking them out, because that's all you've done is knock them out. Worry not. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Um, I will not be selling the Star Sapphire or the Pearl Necklace. I, I generally will keep any gems or jewelry that are over 500 just because, um, well, if you play Nira, who's a wild elf, one of the wild surges can cut your gold in half, but that doesn't affect your gems, so there's always that. And even though I don't plan on having Nira in this party, when you start Siege of Dragon Spear, you lose all of your gold. Um... But you don't lose all your items. So the gems that are in your gem bag, you'll still have. It makes for a good nest egg for starting off Siege of Dragon Spear. Okay. Need to get myself a longsword and a crossbow. And some crossbow bolts. And some armor. I'm just gonna run through this first part pretty quickly because it, it is not terribly exciting. Uh, Felda wants her book. I'll run in here and get ambushed by a would-be assassin. Hello. Check my AI on this character. I don't like any of my characters using special abilities or, or spells at the bequest of the AI because it usually wastes them. But she can search her traps when she's not otherwise occupied. Well, normally would not even have gotten hit by now, so Worry not. that does not bode well. Hmm? Agreed. What do you need? Drepin tells us that the book is in the hay, so we go we go get the book, then we come back and talk to Drepin, need? and he needs an antidote for his cow. Reaver wants us to kill some rats. And if you're wondering, if you could play before and you're wondering why uh, she, she seems to, to not be swinging nearly as frequently. They 
there is a setting that allows you to turn off uh, cosmetic animations. That way, when, when she swings, you actually know that she there is an actual attack, as opposed to generally they swing like three or four times when they're not even doing anything. Paul tells me that he left his sword in the barracks and needs it, and that's where I can get the antidote for Nessa. Our rules are very strict. And here, Worry I not. can get me some These healing potions. The world's knowledge. He gives me one, and then I can steal another from here. But again, you want to wait till you're not being observed. He doesn't look like he's going to move anywhere. Let's see if I can get out of here in time. Ah, he finally decides I to move. Ah. Alright. I'll reload that now that he's deciding to actually move. Agreed. I didn't think that would work, but, well, and obviously it did not. Our rules of very strict. <sighs> yes, Gate Warden, I'd appreciate that. Why not? I shall. I normally don't fool with this, but even though it is a simulation and you can't actually take anything from here. Worry not. One interesting thing I can do. Consume the potions before I leave, the effect stays. So I will I will leave here hasted and fully healed. And apparently blessed as well. There we go. Wisdom is only possessed by the nerve. What is I shall? So now I'm hasted for a little bit. Which will come in handy for this fight. Agreed. When it also comes Worry in handy. Not. Something on your mind? Agreed. I should have joined the army. I should have joined the army. I should have joined the army. If you're quick enough, even with them watching, you can Deal them, you can, you can rob them blind, and then, um, uh, he didn't take the, oh, that's rude. He took one of my full, my, my full stacks of 80 instead of the 20 I had sitting there for him. Well, that's a bummer. 
what Agreed. I do need to do, actually, is sell some stuff real quick, and hopefully it won't expire on me. I shall. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Agreed. Hello there. Agreed. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Not. Let's let's see if I can do this. Agreed. So you see, they, they, and if you look in the chat there, it shows, shows that it summoned Agreed. the guards. Summoned them four times, actually. It would have been a whole mess of guards. But they never actually caught me because I was moving so quick I got out of there. Everything except for Firebird Scroll. Hey, uh, it's me, Emmowen. He gives me Firebeard Scroll. I can go take care of the last quest, and then we'll be out of here. And on to chapter one. Worry not. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. Now, I should be able. Click him thirty times. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. 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 It's a hard to find decent huh. folk nowadays. They must have taken it out. Used to be you click him 30 times and you get 300 gold. Worry not. I don't know why they pull out that little feature, but. Maybe it's a. Hey, uh, it's me, Emmowen. Hey, uh, it's Double me, check. Emmowen. So, you know, it was definitely 30. I'm not gonna bother. It's just 300 gold, and gold ends up becoming a non issue in this game, even for an evil party. Hey, uh, it's me, Emmowen. Oh, my child, I am glad I have. 
have found you. And yes, I realize that was the, the rude response. Listen carefully. If we Evil does not necessarily mean rude or stupid. To the friendly um, arm in. A lot of people seem to think that the only option playing uh, evil is doing everything that lowers your reputation and, and then running around and having the flaming fist uh, trying to kill you at every turn. I don't think evil equals stupid and part of a smart being a smart evil person is hiding the fact that you're evil from most people. Now that doesn't mean that I will, uh, I won't take quest um, results that are less than beneficial because it, it, it fits role playing. But I'm also not going to to go the stupid route just because. Oh, you know, it makes him mouthy. It's yeah, it's that. It, I just don't see. I don't see that as as role playing actual evil. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside, and you and your lackeys will be unheard. I am sorry that you feel that way, old man. I do like the fact that they updated this uh, this particular battle once they got the enhanced edition, the Baldur's Gate two spells in here. It was always kind of odd that you know. Karayan is this powerful mage, and yet he was fighting with, like, first and third level spells, and that was it. The dawn is especially cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorai... Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. Hey, uh, it's me, Emmowyn. Okay. Ultimately, I will not have M1 in my party, but there's no reason to not let her come along for the ride for the time being. I will also not be... Um, I shall be clearing out every map for uh, for a little while anyway because I want to, to actually get my party assembled and then I can I can start worrying about actually going through and, and clearing maps and leveling and everything. Hmm? Let her hang on to the light stuff. Yeah, I didn't think I had the lore. What is my lore? Three. And she's got ten. So let's see if she can identify the dagger. She can. It is a dagger plus one, which, yay. I did not take dagger proficiency yet. I will ultimately take dagger proficiency because the best backstab weapon in BG1 is a plus two dagger of venom. And even with BG2, I'm not one of those people who believes in backstabbing with a staff. It just, the entire concept of that annoys me. Um, okay, 
So that's <laughs> you're a queer fellow. You look troubled. I'm gonna know from Elminster. And she cannot identify the belt of antipode. I listen. I shall. Oh, hello. Yeah, they made finding all of these little uh, hidden things a lot easier when they uh, put in the ability to highlight like that. Now, Zara Monteron, normally I don't bother with, but hey, they are evil. She's disturbing to my demeanor. The I have no equal, but I prefer to work alone. Something troubling you? So they will probably actually last longer than anyone in the party. But I will also ultimately not be using them either, so I'm not going to have I'm not gonna have Zar learn any of these spells. I'm going to hang on to them for the time being. Um And without any missile weapons. He's likely to get himself hurt. All right. He spoke at me. Go suck your blade. That is actually all that is of any actual interest on this particular screen. Oh, that wonder. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. I'll do your toil. And the river in my run storm. Run. I say, and we will thrive. Worry not. That way, she's still the one talking to people, but that puts Monteron up front. Where we will get Khalid and Jahira.
I must rest, lest fatigue cobweb my senses. Oh, goody. Yeah, I'm not used to playing a character with a fairly low constitution. I mean, I don't know that 15 is actually all that low, but apparently she gets fatigued easy. Hi, friend. Your voice is Ambrosia. Stop touching me! Um, got two armor spells. Might as well let him learn one. About to sleep anyway. What is needed? Agreed. You are welcome here in Gal Glittergold Sight. Fine sod such as yourself. Hmm? Worry not. I don't think this. Oops. Good thing it didn't trigger anything because it didn't save. Look troubled. How long must we wait here? Things stir to the south as we sit. Cleet and Jahara have joined us. And they too will not be long for this party, but... Might as well go ahead and see that they're at least reasonably equipped. a long bow not a short bow it's been dreadful slow business lately I should probably say for Khalid because weapons uh, it's Iron Crisis 
Iron is brittle, so the weapons tend to break. them into my journal. And uses a slang. As does she. out there fairly quickly so there's really no point in going with that. She does need a club though. Get her some extra arrows. And then he can only use daggers. But there are no throwing daggers for sale here, so even though he's not proficient, just to keep him off the front lines, let's let him have the darts. I should have gotten myself some more bolts. It's been dreadful slow business lately. Alright. Let's get to hear spells squared away. I really see no reason to carry an entangle, especially at this point. We'll just go with cures. My inn is open to all who behave themselves. Luckily, I actually wanted him to cast that armor. Nature as you do already. I need some air. 
I listen. I shall. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Um. Worry not. Worry not. A pleasure it is to meet you. Yeah. Antidotes. Agreed. Agreed. I shall. All right, so ultimately, I'm going to want Kagan and Dorn in my party. So I picked them up in Baragost and then on the way to the mines. I'm going to want Edwin, who I pick up in Nashville. I could actually run with Zarin Montaran for a change. I, I don't normally do that. But I could. Oh, but I've got to pick up Viconia. Got to pick up Viconia. Who... Where is Viconia? because I do need to go ahead and get her like immediately um let's see she is in Peldville and to get to Peldville don't think I can just go east from here. I think east from here puts me in Larswood, maybe? Well, let's find out. Spellville. What do you know? I shall. Help me. If you don't help me, you'll kill me. And again, <clears throat> some people might say, but that's not the evil response. Helping people is a good way to make money. Yeah, you can you can help people and still be evil. I serve the flaming fist. What is needed? Agreed. Oh, I You've a task? 
You have need of me? Nature servant awaits. Now I have to decide who I'm going to get rid of at this point to get Maconium. Emowyn is actually redundant. Which I should have taken that into account when I was out buying stuff. Yeah, M1 is basically redundant at this point, so she will be the first casualty. Hmm? Agreed. Jalcales? I'm starting to find this I group cannot. almost palatable. Yeah, Mason Slang. Olsa? Go Ryan, what have none of this? It is shameful. You are I listen. amusing in a what the hell is wrong with you kind of way. <laughs> you live longer if you don't annoy me. Mayhaps even a week or more. Worry not. Agreed. Pal. If and I'm not allowed to sleep, our next assailants may just live. I tire. I'll be much more than And now here comes rest. all of the complaining about sleep. That's the bad thing about travel in this. But it is what it is. What is needed? <laughs> uh, yes. What need ye dead? Hmm? <laughs> and the rivers run red! Have become death. Destroyer of worlds! Agreed. Okay, uh, can I help you? You look troubled. I shall.
What do you need? Okay, so I now shall. we're in Baragost. This is where I can pick up Kagan, and I will at least pick up Nero briefly. So that will get rid of. That will be getting rid of Khalid and Jahira. Fatigue cobweb my senses. It's so hard to find decent folk nowadays. Worry not. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. And he wants a copy of the history of the fateful coin, which you can just happen to buy across the street. But the reason we want to do that is because we will get a scroll case in exchange for it. So that's always a good thing. Here now, get out. I don't like it. You tell him, Mar. Now here's an example of how I play an evil party differently. You can actually get more experience from being a nice guy and talking Marl down after being challenged like that. No, I'm going to kick Marl's Agreed. ass. That's just all there is to it. Me? Are you talking to me? Listen. You have need of me? You spoke at me? Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. Power. Your voice is ambrosia. Olza? Well, I didn't mean for her to do that, but that's okay. Because it was handy, and we're about to sleep anyway. What is needed? Not buy the history of the papal coin, did I? I did not. You want some whiskey? I got some cheap beer for you. Not. Agreed. It's so hard to find decent folk nowadays. Must we be so insufferably charitable? Agreed. 
Yeah, I, I just I find it amusing how the evil Goody party members me sick. throw a fit about. I listen. What is needed? Worry not. Doing things that raise your reputation. Because there was certainly nothing charitable about that. I spent three gold pieces on a hmm? on a book that got us a scroll case. You look troubled. Worry not. Gorion would have none of this. It is shameful. Uh, is he out of sight? Let's find out. I listen. Yep. Agreed. I shall. Alright, so this is where we're going to lose these guys. Which will literally mean I'll have nobody in the party using arrows after buying all those arrows. Wow. Uh, it just goes to show you how used to, you know, how I'm used to playing with a completely different party composition than I'm that I'm running with this time. For you. So he wants us to check out what happened to his caravan, and of course, well, I guess we haven't seen it yet, but it was back just north of here, so we'll have to go check that out. But uh, that gets Kagan in the group. Okay. Calm yourself, dear. We must proceed c c carefully. Hi there. Just doing a, an evil party playthrough on Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition.
Worry not. Blacksmith, where is Nira? see anybody else around listen I'd love to give you a really long and detailed explanation of what's going on but oh look we're out of time so you would try to hide from us behind this unfortunate fool your cowardice proves as deadly as your reckless magic you're the one trying to capture me and I still don't know what you want so I'd rather not let it happen Get out of here before me and my new friends decide to eject a fist into your mouth. You there. Stand aside and give me the girl. Surely you won't risk your life for a stranger. What can I offer you? Why, only the most precious reward imaginable. Your continued existence. If you wish to die for this... Away with you, you pompous creep! What? Not again. Kendall, where did you go? We can't let her escape. Slaughter them all, and we'll sort this out once we find him. Stop touching me! This better be good. What need ye dead? I don't want to talk. What is needed? Jacques So, as usual in most fights in, uh... Baldur's Gate. You want to target the spellcasters first. Get the spellcaster taken care of. He spoke at me. right now yeah about that uh, I only had a little bit of gold that I borrowed from a friend a few weeks back and I've spent most of it my talents I'm an accomplished mage I managed to send a candor somewhere <laughs> you saw oh since when has intent ever mattered outside of the courts I got the job done what do you say I could really use some new friends fantastic let me just get my well Nothing. I can I'm carry ready to go no now. Go I've started dropping things. <laughs> sure. You look troubled. Agreed. Okay, so now we've got Nira, who happens to have the gem bag.
there's a lot of room. And her only proficiency, unfortunately, is quarterstaff, so she will also be at a disadvantage in her range. I listen, worry not. And again, we can't steal in front of them, but I can go ahead and pick the locks all I want to. Kiss me, Blank. What you wish done? skills. Might as well improve his armor class a bit there. So weird not having anybody who uses a bow in the party. But that being the case, I might as well ditch all these arrows. I'll find somewhere to ditch them. I can recover them later. If I what is like needed? It. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Daggers were expensive, but I've got the money. for a while.
All right. And let's see what she got here. She's got a traveler's robe, which I won't steal from her. I shall. This best leap. Lightly, Taskmaster. Hmm? I shall. Shall. Not large wood, I want to go. To. Worry not. I'm trying to find uh, Chartille at this point. Um, she will probably just be a temporary member of the party, but she's actually a, a pretty decent fighter. And I don't have any intention of hanging on to Nera. So, I can at least grab her for the time being. Agreed. Wait, something trouble. Me no want fight. Me Korax. Me friend. Alright, normally I would not want to have encountered Korax yet, because he makes a good shield for, uh... Your voice is ambrosia. For the basilisks in this area, uh -huh. but... Lightsinger, give me power. You look troubled. Your doom approaches. Stop touching me! Oh, that's right. Undead are not affected by Larlock's minor drain. So that was a complete waste. Also, may darkness. What is it that I told you to save the day? Jean-Claude? For sure! You, my turn to save the day. I listen. Worry not. Recruiting Chartille is actually not going to be easy because the strongest male in the party only has a 16 strength. She has significantly better strength. This is not going to be easy. Travelers, I challenge your best warrior to a duel. What is needed? I shall. I don't want to talk.
You can find me at the Friendly Arm Inn. Agreed. Agreed. Worry not. Yes. I listen. What is need? Agreed. My temper's bad enough without ye bothering me. I got some cheap beer for ya. Agreed. And being nighttime, we can go rob the smithy now. Even though we don't have anybody using bastard swords, there is a magical bastard sword in here. If it bleeds, okay. Agreed. Worry not. trying to identify things, which I don't think he's, yeah, I didn't think he's going to be strong or good enough on it. Okay, he's got an extra short sword in case his breaks. She's got extra long swords in case hers break. On down to Nashville now. 
Agreed. Go pester someone else. I love bloodshed. Oh, I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. Men are pathetic. And I don't think she's even proficient with one, is she? Nope, longsword and dagger. That's it. That's alright. I'll give her some throwing daggers. This way, you we can troubled. at least start out everybody ranged. And the rivers run red! I need an L. If it bleeds, I can kill I listen. And then switch up. I don't want to talk. I love bloodshed. What is needed? Agreed. That was bad. Your doom approaches. <laughs> I have become death. Go past this destroyer of worlds. Hmm? This dwarf's not feeling too good. Your voice is ambrosia. You look troubled. Alright. I really hate wasting healing spells Agreed. on him because he regenerates. That, that's one of the biggest benefits of Kagan is his 20 constitution allows him to regenerate. I listen. Agreed. So like between screens he will get fully healed anyway. But I need him up front for this fight. I serve the flaming fist. And the rivers run red. Night singer, give me power. Stop touching me. Agreed. Your doom approaches. There we go. If it bleeds, Our inventory's full. Oh, that's right. All those spears. Those are all 
small shields. And Maconia can't wear a plate because she's not strong enough. Alright, so I've got, uh, ooh, she's actually overweight now. Problem solved. down six, so I'm going to hold off on the healing spell for now. Backstabbing is always good. What is needed? Mana are pathetic. Hmm? I shall. Agreed. Eat steel, scum. I need an owl. If it bleeds, I can kill it. You look troubled. And the rivers run red! I listen. Agreed. What so, is needed? Gems and jewelry. Something troubling you? I don't want to talk. Hello. I listen, worry not. Feel free to, you know, jump into the chat and ask whatever. I, I you know, I don't know how familiar you are with Baldur's Gate, but uh, more than happy to answer any questions or, or, you know, if you've got any any suggestions or anything you'd like to, to throw my way, feel free. We are just north of Nashville at this point. Really, just bar barely into it at all. 
Um, still working on getting Don't the final I party that I want assembled. I will end up replacing... Uh, Zar and Mon Monteron with Edwin and uh, Dorn. Normally, if I were to pick up Chartiel at all, I would be dueling her as a thief. But that's kind of pointless when I'm already an assassin and I've got my own thieving skills. With your hurried flight from Candlekeep... ...could possibly be linked to you, you have no idea. Worry not. Egg plate is really good for Viconia because of her low strength. She actually has one of the better armor class, or the best armor class in the party right now, actually. should probably free up some inventory space to shift stuff around because when I pick up Edwin I'm going to lose Zarya and Monteron both. Matter of fact, I could go ahead and start shifting some of the stuff around. So how are you all doing today? Stand away, citizen! I will show you justice!
on top of all of the other problems with inventory management in this game, and this is like, like my biggest complaint about the game, it, it all revolves around inventory management. The way they do the economy, I just, I never have, I never have liked the way they did the economy in this game, because as soon as you sell an item to a vendor, then the price for that item will drop. And the reasoning behind it is, you know, law of supply and demand and everything, once you, once they start having, you know, uh, supply, then they don't, they don't have as much need for the item, and while I get that, literally going, switching just from one character to another, if one character has a suit of plate mail, and you sell it for 240 and then you go to the next character, and it's selling for 120 so... Um, I don't know that people ever actually stopped playing Baldur's Gate necessarily, but especially since the E3 announcement of Baldur's Gate 3, there seems to be a lot more interest in people playing it again. It, it definitely seems to have, have picked up a lot more popularity since that announcement. But... I mean, I know I went years without playing it, and, and then the Enhanced Edition came out, and I, I started playing again. So, did they ever stop? Probably not. But, but yeah, it, it, there's definitely been a resurgence, at least. Ab absolutely, absolutely, yeah. As soon as things get in the news, then, then interest is going to spike. Uh, the the good thing about about Baldur's Gate, though, I mean, really, is that it holds up. I mean, yeah, the the graphics are are archaic, but as far as just the the UI and everything, and and of course the the story is pretty much unparalleled as far as as CRPGs go. You know, the the Ballspawn saga as a whole, it, it really does hold up. So I mean, it's it's that's that's Agreed. good. Welcome to my humble establishment. Uh, even though I'll end up selling it later, because, again, evil, and, and I will end up pissing off the Colcat dude, and he'll tell me to keep the amulet and send me on my way with a reputation loss. But, I do want to hold on to it until I can piss him off. the plus one long, uh, bastards. Damn it, I did not mean to leave the... Yeah, business has been poor with the iron shortage and all. Uh, I could probably grab myself a few more bolts. else should be good. Anybody remember what uh, Edwin's proficiencies are? I, I don't go for low reputation. Uh, the way I look at it with an evil party is evil is not dumb. Yeah, see, I... I and and I have I've messed around with a with running around with a despised reputation before, but but like I said, evil is not necessarily that doesn't necessarily equate to dumb. And I think running around with a despised reputation is pretty dumb. It's it's like uh, I mean look look at the the most evil of evils and and even in our world the like the serial killers and whatnot. Um, well. It, 
and even if they're not being lauded as heroes, they want to be looked at as normal so that they can go on about their evil business without interference. So even even if I were to avoid every one of the plus, um, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, thanks. Um, but yeah, even if I avoided all of the plus reputation quests, which I don't necessarily think is 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 even falls into line role playing. But even if I did, I would still go to temples and donate to keep my rep up in a, in a reasonable range. Um, you know, I'm not looking for the attention of being lauded as a hero necessarily, but I am definitely also not looking to be chased by flaming fist all over the Sword Coast. Um, let's see where it, what is my rep right now? It's probably about six, I think. No, eight. Huh. I thought I started at eight because of being evil. And then grabbing Vaconia dropped me to six. Exactly. It's, yeah, it's a completely different game. You're you're not. You're 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 doing something. You're doing something else completely. What is needed? But it can be fun. I mean, I I, I did it simply to unlock the achievement uh, on Steam. You know, going going despised, and but. It really depends on how you play it, because if you go to Spice too quickly... Um, no. No. Uh, I think they don't start throwing Hunters at you till 4. 4 is where you first hit... Dis it's either 4 or 3 when you first hit Despised, and that's when they, it, it starts throwing... They may start throwing Hunters at you some places, but it's definitely not everywhere like it gets if you go lower. I, I had another evil party where I, I mean I was running around at six and five, pretty consistently, and never encountered a uh, a party of hunters. Uh, I think I've got everything that I need. Did he not want to buy the book either? Hmm. Worry not. I should just drop that book. I really should. Agreed. Um, and it's like my other my other evil party. Glory I was I was playing chaotic evil, and so I went ahead and took the money, posing as Grey Wolf, even though I know that ultimately bites you in the rear. Playing a lawful evil, though, you're like, well, you know, there's a code of honor involved in everything, and. My character doesn't want to take credit for what somebody else is doing. So, I mean, I can still get around that. Ah, okay. Yeah, I just never never ran into them then. But yeah, I do try to keep I do try to keep it above 6 anyway. And I kind of dislike how the game punishes you for being mercenary. It, it, even, yeah, I, I mean, unless you're, like, lawful good, most most characters in, in this kind of a world are going to be wanting to know what's in it for them. <laughs> the risks involved in the activities these people want you to do are, are pretty ridiculous. So, I mean, if you're not a paladin, then... Yeah, you're gonna be wanting something out of it. Oh, you have returned, and so soon. Must we be so insufferably charitable? It's not charity. It's smart. Surface dwellers can be so stupid. Oh, well, that's true. But uh, and and I was explaining to some people. Yeah, you know, it's somebody was asking me on a chat on a chat board like, what is the 
you know, how, how do you balance out with, with the low reputation and the prices going up and everything? But an evil party does have some advantages with the, the money situation, too. Like all that plate armor that I just picked up from that group of Flaming Fist that a good party wouldn't have fought. And there was no rep uh, loss attached to it, which I think if you kill a Flaming Fist out in the middle of the wilderness, there shouldn't be a rep loss attached to it anyway, because who, who knows? But, um, and, and the two robes of the evil Arch Magi that you don't have to pay for, um, if you're, you know, if you're evil. Whereas, to get your good or your neutral robe of the Arch Magi, that's a big chunk of change. Yes, that, that was the second one I was referring to, is Bailoff does come with one. Although it's flagged as stolen, so if you recruit him, steal his, stay, you know, take the robe off of him, and then uh, try to sell it, you, you have to be in Baldur's Gate at one of the fences to, to actually sell his robe. I just, I find Bailoff so annoying. I've, I've, I've played with him. And, and I may end up at some point swapping out Chartiel for Bailoff in this one. But he is just really annoying. It, it, it's, it's handy, though, you know, if you put the Ever Memory on him, you, you can pretty much identify anything. It's just ID, 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 and he's still got spells coming out of his ears. Yeah, just to have a maximum drill party. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, that and the fact that, that Edwin can't cast ID, which I realize is not a huge deal, but it can be annoying walking around with all this un unidentified crap. <laughs> Yeah, it's. I, I actually had considered maybe, if, and maybe I'll um, instead of getting Bailoth, maybe I'll swap out uh, Chartiel for Eldoth. But then, you know, then he's gonna he's either going to want Ski in the party, or or I will lose him when I when I decide not to take Ski. So I don't know. I actually, uh, I did a an, an Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition run through not long ago. It was before I started streaming, but uh, I I actually ran that one with a Jester, and that was pretty interesting. I had not actually used the Jester class at all before that point, so that was that was an interesting uh, addition to a party. It, it, it's very different than, than playing with a normal bard. Wow, he doesn't show up with me with, with much in the way of spells either, does he? Okay.
it's funny. I used to be that way. I, I used to prefer. I would even run. I've, I've run Baldur's Gate before with a full user-generated party, but uh, I don't know. I I I kind of like the NPCs. I like the personality that they you know that they have and everything. Yes, let's pile all of the no-weight stuff on the person who has the best strength in the party. That makes sense. <laughs> gotten I, I actually I like at when EE came out I played it several times through and, and then got kind of burned out on it and it was actually the E3 announcement that made me want to come back and, and start playing again so oh let's see I should probably go fight this Bounty Hunter and then Rest. Do I really need to go to the carnival before I go to the mine? Don't want brand one. Agreed. It's almost not worth coming in here. Yeah, business has been poor, but with the iron shortage and all. Agreed. Be a touch unladylike, but I'm gonna slit your throat. I am. Yeah, you would. Jean Calais, you look troubled. Again, you disturb me. And he only has color spray memorized, which is gonna be pretty I much listen. useless in this situation. The slaughter is nigh. You are so irritating. You pugs are starting to piss me off. What is needed? Hmm? Agreed. What is it now? You look troubled. Oh, she's not gonna let me backstab her. <laughs>
I listen, worry not. ID this, of course. Not that it matters. Um, Life is made fun by crushing your enemy. What is it now? I, I love when when. Uh, Chartiel gets into her. Men are, and then you and you and you click to tell her to do something. So it's like it kind of skips and it's like men are okay, which is completely out of character for her. You look troubled. Agreed. I listen. I shall. I think one of my favorite uh, companion lines, though, is when Edwin's like, I do not understand this mouse magic that makes me do your bidding. about stealing in here, do they? I don't think. No. What is needed? Never had rats. No, sorry. You do not dream often, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of the other big disadvantage of a low rep party. Before you. Because Larlock's minor dra drain has nothing on cure light wounds. <laughs> Over the barricades, you can see your old room, and you wonder if it really was as small as it appears now. As you stand before the keep, oh, I I like her as a character. I Gorion stands before oh, you. omnipresent but authority figure bit just gets old. He's <laughs> dead in your dreams as in life. The phantom of your foster father mutely walks towards the woods, towards supposed safety, and beckons for you to follow as he did once before. This time you remain behind. I like to hear a lot more in in BG2, I think. Before your eyes, phantoms of the past reenact the pathetic scene that must have taken place in your absence. Clad in armor assuredly magical, a figure strides yeah. from oh, the Yeah, oh, definitely. Darkness. Admittedly, a powerful mage. I think my first BG2 playthrough, I ended up romancing Jahira. It's I, I ended up I liked her that much. Begins again, replaying over and over. Each successive viewing makes the unknown warrior all the more impressive. As you stare at the murderer of your former mentor, one thought coalesces in your mind: you will have such power as this, whatever it takes. It, it seems that way. Um, people are, are really polarized by Jahira for some reason. It's, it's they either really like her or really hate her. I don't think I've ever met anybody who is just like, yeah, I don't, you know, Jahira, one way or the other, who cares? Path feels right, and will assuredly give you what you seek. It seems to promise this in a voice you know, but yet have never heard. The image of Gorion's death replays in your mind throughout the night. You get used to it. See, I feel that way about Nira in, in this. It's like, I really like the character, but at the same time, she annoys the hell out of me. I shall. And I'm not really a fan of Rasad either. 
It's got a good quest, but I don't, I just, I'm not a big fan of him. <laughs> I wish they had given her some, give Aerie a, a way to give her her wings back. That's, I, I think that's what her, her quest should have been, was some, some way for her to get her wings back. Of course, you know, with with adding a goblin character in um, SOD, you've got a tiefling character in BG2. I mean, why why do we not have those as playable races? I think it would be really interesting to do a Baldur's Gate playthrough as a uh, Goblin ball spawn. You have been slain by enemies and must defend yourself. Forward, march. Oh, whoa, this is an actual waylaid by enemies. <laughs> I sat there and un unpaused it, expecting the the cutscene to play but this is like a, a, a an actual ambush hmm? sometimes i pity you for your short lifespan go burn the world What is it now? I am born of a noble race. If I had a copper I do not for every moron this mouse I've run magic across, that makes me I could your die Baldur's Gate. Uh, I didn't reset his spell. Dang, gum it. He's still a scum. Do not feel so Well, this is just not going well at all. I listen. The fact that I just... Is the only thing I don't want to talk. What is needed? Alright. I normally wouldn't do this, but... What is needed? Worry not. I was chatting and not paying attention to the fact that I was in an ambush in the first place. Why is... Why am I not getting the... The Dorn cutscene. What is needed? It's like a standard thing coming from you. I shall. Coming to the Nashville Mines. What is going on? I did not. I didn't think you had to. What is needed? Do you have to interact with Dorn at the end to get him to, uh, to get him to show up? To, to, uh, I mean, to initiate the cutscene? Yeah, I blew right by it because I wasn't thinking about that being a necessity. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to have to make a quick trip up north. Agreed. Kind of sucks to go all the way back up here just for this. Worry not. I 
I guess I was just, I was under the impression that that is just a standard encounter for the enhanced edition. Agreed. Hmm. It's about time. Then why do you bother me? Be gone. Worry not. Well, I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> I'll make another pit stop in Nashville to go ahead and, and sleep, but then if it doesn't happen, worry not. Really? Yeah, like doesn't like evil Worry parties not. in general. Never had rats. No sorry. I know my last I... evil playthrough. I was surprised when he didn't even offer to join. I mean, he he does help you unplug the the. Thing in the mind, but uh, yeah, he doesn't even offer to join. And there it is. Must defend yourself. Hail and well met. So if you don't interact with Dorn before going to the mines, is it just impossible to recruit him, period? Traveler. Well, that's the nicest thing anyone's called me in weeks. Well, then the wiki's wrong, because... We, we just established that's not the case. <laughs> we should kill that one last, Senjak. Such good manners. No, no, there's no reason for this to turn violent. Hand over your belongings and you may yet live. You should listen to Senjak, friend. Perhaps you've noticed our associates who are even now aiming their arrows at... Now then, empty your pockets in. What's going on back there? I do too. <laughs> This is probably my favorite thing. This is probably the, my favorite thing that I've seen that the uh, that the enhanced edition added. Dorn, you should be dead or rotting in a Luskin prison. How did you find us? I'm happy. Although Dorn is a completely illegal character. To take the blame was all Simeon's idea. He's the one you want, not us. Trust following orders is a coward's excuse, Dorothy. And I haven't forgotten what you said when I refused your advances. What did the answer? I actually, I made my own half orc blackguard to to have be my ball spawn. I mean, that's an awesome ball spawn anyway. Which. But still a great character, especially once you get uh, Spider's Bane. Was the first to agree but with I did not realize that Dorn's sword only works for Dorn. Even though anybody can equip it, it only the, the special ability on his sword only works for him. I mean, it's still a plus one two-handed sword for anybody, but the additional plus one if you've killed within the last 24 hours with it, it's only when that sword is in Dorn's hands. 
have to be this way. We've beaten you before, Dorn. We'll do it again. Attack! <laughs> you look troubled. Agreed. I don't want to talk. Men are pathetic. Jean Caress? I listen. This may prove difficult. I, I really seriously thought about going illegal with this character, but... And, and making her a, like a, a fighter assassin, but it's just too much hassle. What is needed? Yeah, yeah, you could use uh, E Keeper. Just like I, like to make my half orc laggard, I, I had to. I basically I rolled a, a human ha uh, laggard, and then went into E Keeper, changed the race, and adjusted his stats based on if he had been rolled as a half orc in the first place. And from there, it plays just fine. I mean, it's that's you know you don't have to mess with it. Unfortunately, if you try to add a kit, uh, like a thief. If you try to add a kit to a multi-class thief, the backstabbing and thief's uh, points still progress, just like if you were a normal thief. The game doesn't really recognize it. So, without, without installing a mod, there's really not a way to do uh, multi-class kits. Beside me. Perhaps you may prove an exception to the rule. My name is Dorn Il Khan. When I was settling an old score, I've been hunting those two for almost a year now. That's two down and two to go. My powers are none of your concern, unless you are looking for a strong arm to join you. Wait, are you? Hmm. I've heard of your. Prowess. Traveling with you might help my vendetta, and my powers could certainly help you. My former companions betrayed me and left me to rot in a Luskin prison. I've spent the last year tracking them down after Senjak and Dorothea. There are two left. Very wise. We shall cut a bloody swath across the Sword Coast. Not only have I done nothing at this point in the game, but what I also find funny is when you encounter him at playing a blackguard, you you're, you're still just as clueless as to what he is, which is really strange. What the heck is up with a, a half orc with a 14 constitution? I mean, seriously. That's just crazy. I listen. Be direct. I don't even know why I'm picking all this up, because I'll end up dropping most of it before we 
exit the mines anyway. I don't normally run a party that's this Piger heavy either. This is really strange. Worry not. Shar looks upon us with favor. Come on, door. I like it here. Worry not. Go pester someone else. Speak and if be it gone. Bleeds, I can hmm? kill it. That's <laughs> forward. at the same time. Night Singer, give me power. You look troubled. I listen. I shall. What is needed? Agreed. It, 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 it pains me watching people try to do a Baldur's Gate playthrough with no thief. It's like, what are you doing? Basically going around constantly bashing containers and usually not getting them open. And then running face first into traps and having to, you know, heal and rest constantly. My masterpiece. None cross Grey Wolf and live. Sir? Again you disturb me. Men are pathetic. Be direct. I don't want to talk. You look troubled. 
Agreed. Ouch. He took me, he hit me as I passed by. <laughs> With a roll of a five, no less. The slaughter is nigh. I shall prevail. Jean Caress. What? Oh well. Oh, I know he's no joke, but I mean, I thought we had him with the once you know uh, command knocked him down. He, he should have dropped in a hurry. That was a little ridiculous. Of course, the fact that it has started, I don't remember in the original version, it rearranging your party before he shows up. It should, he should show up facing the three fighters, not rearranging things. Worry not, beauteous creature. You are my masterpiece. Not cross Grey Wolf and live. Again, you disturb me. Hmm? Worry not. You look troubled. Much better. <laughs> Men are the I listen. I shall soon. My work will be done. I thought I could think no less of this group, but with this behavior. Also, didn't you used to be able to? You know, I mean, I could be remembering incorrectly, but I thought you could turn. Jumps. What the hell do you think? You, you could turn doing? in the emeralds to Oubliac, get the reward and everything. Pickpocket them back off of him and then go sell them. Thought you could anyway. I, I could have sworn I remember doing that. Um, I tried doing that in a recent playthrough, and all I was able to all I was able to pickpocket off of him was a silver ring, and and he he, he didn't have the emeralds anymore. I could have sworn that I've done it though. Of course, the other option, I guess, would be, if I want to get more money out of it, go sell the sell the emeralds there in Nashville first, steal them back from the merchant, and then go turn them in. That would work too, I guess. And I understand fixing the ones that are obvious bugs, but if I hand the guy two emeralds and then turn around and pull and pickpocket them out of his pocket, that should work. I mean, yeah, the 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 ring thing, that's a that is an obvious bug. What is needed? Hmm? Eat steel, scum. Eat this steel, will not be a scum. quick death. I shall.
And honestly, I wish they had changed the behavior of uh, free action to match Icewind Dale. I mean, maybe you just can't do it in this version, but uh, the idea that, you know, like somebody with free action can't be hasted is annoying. Worry not. I had my, my half orc blackguard was running around with the with Spider's Bane and the Boots of Speed. So what I would have to do is like switch him to bow, use the boots of speed to close on the enemy archers, and then as soon as I got there, switch back to my good uh my my spider switch back to Spider's Bane. I'm sure it was intentional, but like I said, they do it completely the opposite way in uh, Icewind Dale, and I prefer it that way. Uh, beneficial movement things, such as Expeditious Retreat and Haste, completely work, even if you do have a Ring of Free Action. The slaughter is nigh. For the glory of arms! Oh yeah, come talk to us in the middle of a fight with a ghoul. How about you fight the ghoul with us? There's actually a lot about Icewind Dale that I liked. The story is not one of them. I mean, it's... It's, it's very much a... You know, a tactical combat game as opposed to a CRPG, but um, they had a lot of really interesting uh, magic items that that are like not everybody can use. So you might end up building characters around getting those items, or uh, they had a lot of like non-magical but fine and, and, and excellent quality uh, melee weapons so you can get weapons with like bonuses but that weren't magical which you would think would be far more available than the plethora of magic items you run across in this game no, not I. Yeah. The other thing, though, that that, that kind of bugs me, you know, like I said, you've got the, the economy thing that they do with, you know, all of this, you know, with, like, selling armor and whatnot. If, you, if there's an iron shortage, can you get, uh, use any item? I, I'm pretty sure you can, if you, I, uh, I don't know if you can get high enough level to, honestly. I mean, I guess you could if you played through and then you went back and played it through on the harder difficulty, then you might be able to get high enough to, to, to get use any item. But, uh, yeah, I mean, as far as the economy in this game goes, if there's an iron shortage and you bring somebody a stack of swords, that should be better than dumping a pile of gold on them.
If it be I'll do it. You look troubled. Worry not. Uh, I'm tempted to pick up Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition. It's on Steam right now for like four bucks. Pretty much. Yeah, that, there, there's a mod that somebody needs to make for this. The Game of Thrones mod. You get to the you get to the end, and Entire Silver Shield is sitting there with a Starbucks cup. Directed for now. I listen. Worry not. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a game about the god of murder, so. It I would consider that an appropriate level of murder. to take a look at me mine, do you? You know, that sounds dirtier than it should. Stand away, citizen! You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Worry not. Oh, I'm so tired. You know, I think they ran out of names when they were making this, because isn't Ruffy the name of the dog? Isn't that Albert's dog's name? Agreed. Leave us be. Tis much work to be done. Hmm? Huh? 
You look troubled. I listen. I shall. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I think I'm coughing up blood. Alright, which one of these guys has the freaking dagger? <laughs> I think I'm coughing up blood. There we go. Minor Bob. So do you guys ever, uh, do you board game any, or do you, or are you just video game guys? You must gather your party before venturing forth. Agreed. <laughs> your doom approaches. Not gotten, it's been so long since I've gotten to, to role play, it's not even funny. I miss it. I do uh, board game design now. Kind of like my, my primary thing. Interesting little bit of trivia. Uh, my business partner and I, back in it was it was back in the early '90s, we were one of the first retailers in the U.S. to uh, to actually sell you know, price and sell individual magic cards. When Scry first put out their price list, that was it was actually our price list, and they just published it. <laughs> It's not difficult to find gaming groups here. I mean, I, I actually have a, a a Facebook group for uh, what is needed for tabletop gaming that has almost 500 people in it, and, and so I we shall. regularly get hmm? groups of people together. But getting people to commit to Getting together on a regular basis to do like a, an RPG campaign, on the other hand, it's just, it's a completely different animal. So 
dark down here. I, uh, I don't know if I'll be there this year or not. Probably not. I'll probably end up sending my business partner, but we tend to go to Dallas every year for uh, Board Game Geek Con. Go pester someone else. You look worry not. I listen. And then, of course, over Labor Day weekend, I'll be at Dragon Con in Atlanta. Atlanta tends to be that way too. I mean, like I said, it's, Dragon Con is in Atlanta, and that's one of the one of, if not the biggest, fan convention for just mixed genre sci-fi in the country. Um, but yeah, Dallas definitely de definitely has a. a a foothold on that on that too. And then of course you've got like uh, Gen Con and Indy. Really, I did not know that Funimation was in Dallas. Did not realize that. What is needed? I shall. Dragon Con will always hold hold a special place for me just because well, I mean not only have I been going to Dragon off and on good lord, since ninety I guess. Yeah, I think I think I think my first Dragon Con was ninety, which that was Dragon Con four. But uh that's where I first met the the actors from Warehouse 13 and kind of where I got the idea to even do the Warehouse 13 board game and, and I've gotten to be really, really good friends with Andy McClintock since then and I've actually been 
on Warehouse 13 panels at Dragon just to talk about the board game, which was kind of cool. For sure! Your worthless lives end here. What is it now? Agreed. Gather your party before venturing forth. Agreed. What is needed? Hmm? Worry not. You look troubled. Worry not. appreciate you guys coming by and, and hanging with me. Um, I've been at this for almost three hours now, and I should probably get me some dinner. It's it's almost eight o'clock here, so I think I'm going to, uh, at the very least, take a break. Um, again, really appreciate you, you hanging out. Um, don't know that I'll get back to it again tonight, but uh, I, I will... I will almost assuredly be streaming again tomorrow. So I uh, had a, had a good time. Thanks thanks for thanks for coming by. <laughs>